it's Nate. I apologize that last Wednesday I wasn't able to post a video. That's because I've been feeling quite sick. You can hear it in my voice. Our church is a conference coming up and we have been rehearsing for the Unashamed Conference day after day after day. And it's amazing and it's so fun. And you have seen it in my other vlogs. These are all a fun bunch group of people but of course it gets a little taxing on the body so yeah i decided to rest on wednesday but i still have been posting on anchor so every single day except sunday you will be hearing my sometimes clear sometimes pause sometimes scruffy voice so go download the app or visit the website or something plug you know so like anyway they say you can tell a lot about the man by looking at what's on his phone that's why today i will be showing you what's in my backpack that doesn't make sense. Thank you Vance for this backpack, I really like it. And let's go. I'm opening up the front zipper here. That, no, that's not the front, that's the back. I'm opening up the main, no, I'm, I'm done opening it, but there, I opened it and I've got like stuff. So let's start with the biggest thing. In this Herschel laptop case, I have my laptop, Malamang. And it's a new one, it's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Okay, Ryan just started drilling stuff through the wall in the other room, so um, I'm sorry for the noise. <clears throat> you know what? Let's go check it out. Ryan! <laughs> I'm trying to shoot a video. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a quite a speed bag, you know. <laughs> you can shoot your video. <laughs> I'm watching the videos first. Give me like 10 minutes. Okay. Love you. Okay. That's my brother for you. Anyway, where were we? I was talking about my new laptop. I had been editing on iMovie for the longest time, but recently my parents got me a new laptop, and this is what I've been editing all of my YouTube stuff on. This is like my number one work tool. Without this or the camera, no, actually, even without the camera, like I can just use my phone. So without this, like I'm dead. Secondly, I have my bullet journal, which is to me the second most important thing in my bag because this is where I plan my life. Everything goes in here, and like if you wanna know everything that I do, everything that I have to do, everything that I'm feeling, check out my bullet journal, which of course I won't let you see in secret. Thirdly, I always have a good book in my bag. I don't always read it. I always bring it around, but yeah, I, I don't always get the chance to read because I'm either texting or using my phone or whatever. But if I do get the chance to sit down and really just focus on reading, I like to read different books. So for the past few days, I have been trying to read The Founder's Mentality by Zook Allen. It's a great book about how organizational growth creates complexity, blah, blah, blah. Very boring stuff, but it's so cool. Next, I have another pouch which carries all of my like writing materials and not stationary, but just here, let me show you. I have my favorite Lamy fountain pen, which I usually keep in my pocket. I have a ruler, a standard ball pen, a mechanical pencil from Muji, a Sharpie, and an extra battery for my camera. And then in the bigger pocket, we have like all my different notebooks. So I have a planner, which I used to keep track of the things I'm thankful for every day. And then three different notebooks. This is the notebook I'm currently using. This is the notebook I used before this notebook. And this is the notebook that I'm gonna use after this notebook. So in order, it kinda looks like this, this, and then this. And I'm mainly using this, but if I need to backtrack and look at something I wrote before, I use this. And then if I run out of space here and I need a new one, I use this. So you guys might be wondering, Nate, why don't you just get a bigger, thicker notebook? It would be easier. Well, I, I don't know. And then I have power supply, so this is my 20,000 mAh power bank, which I only really have to charge like once a week. I use it mainly to charge my phone as well as my camera. And then I have a standard laptop charger and an emergency snack. That's it for the big pocket, now for the small pocket. Oh, I have another emergency snack, wow. And then I've got yet another pouch which holds my two cables. One is for my phone and the other is for the camera or any other micro USB things. If I have a friend who uses Samsung and says he needs a cord, I have this cord to lend him. Since I'm always carrying my camera around, sometimes this will be in my bag, sometimes it will not, I have an extra roll of film. I also have another film canister in here, but this doesn't hold film, this holds 
coins whoa, whoa. <laughs> money which is a really good life hack you know if you have an extra old film canister at home it makes a good coin holder and you don't have to look weird carrying around a purse made from frog skin that you bought in Baguio if you guys know what I'm talking about two last things my earphone case and this is I, I don't know why I have to get actually no it does help that I have a case for my earphones and there are my sound magic earphones which I really love for the sake of they make sound sound good. I honestly do not like Apple AirPods or Apple EarPods because they don't sound very good. But in ears like these sound magics, yeah. In this pouch, I also have a splitter. So if I want to share music with a friend, I just plug this in and then, and then we just walk around the city listening to music and it's like so cool. And lastly, one of the biggest frustrations with this new MacBook is that its ports are only USB-C. So you see right here. Or, you know, the headphone jack, but then that doesn't really count. It's all just USB-C. You don't have any normal USB ports. You don't have any Thunderbolt. You don't have any SD card slot, you know. That's why the last item in my bag is a hub for my MacBook. So this little Satashi hub is a wonder of wonders because you plug it into your USB slot once and it doesn't look like a weird, awkward dongle with a wire that, you know, dangles. Instead, it's a sleek little hub in the same color as my MacBook that plugs in just like this. And then you have two USB-A ports, an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, and then another Type-C USB right there. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in my Vans backpack. Yep, I really dropped that brand name. Hello Vans, thank you for the bag. I will see you guys all on Monday. Let's hope that I will not be sicker than I am now and let's hope that I will not be busier either. Let's hope that uh, uh, let's seize the carpe diem together.